Okay, hello everybody. I want to show you a couple little tricks that I do, or I don't know if they're tricks, whatever they are. This is how I go about programming a kind of funky live drum beat. <clears throat> so for this, I'm using Easy Drums, and I'm using this Funkmaster Jabo kit, which is uh, one of the James Brown drummers. There's also Clyde. Um, I got this a long time ago, and I still use it quite a bit. It's really tight and kind of a, a high-pitched snare, real funky. The hi-hats don't open up too much. They don't get too washy. It's really great kit. So um, especially if you want it to sound not super uh, clean, it has sort of a not well-recorded modern sound, even though it is obviously well-recorded. So let me get started just playing some uh, eighth notes on the hi-hat. Okay, well that was really bad, but um, you get the idea. I couldn't hear the click. Look at me, I'm making excuses. Yeah, I, I couldn't hear the click. You got, could you hear the click? Let's quantize that to eighth notes. Now I'm gonna play uh, the kick and snare. They're on note C and D like they are on most kits, and let's uh, play something funky. Okay, this time I'm gonna grab these notes that I just recorded, I'm gonna quantize them to 16th note swings, C. These, um, these swing, uh, quantized values, apparently they're taken off of the Akai, could be true, the whatever, the MPX, whatever, so they're very funky. Okay, already, I can tell you, I don't like this, and I don't like this, because I want them to be, they're clashing with that kick. Okay. Now, this is where it starts to get a little interesting. So far, it's not too funky, right? So, I want to add another kick drum. I wouldn't call it a ghost note. It's more like, um, well, you can call it a ghost note. Let's just call it a ghost note. So, what I'm going to do is I this, uh, this kit has the same uh, kick on B over here, on the B key, the B natural. So, I'm going to throw in my little... Uh, uh, kick ghost notes. Okay, I'm going to quantize those. And they're very loud. They're too loud. Not funky at all. We want to make these very quiet and then it'll give it a real pocket. Maybe even a little less? What do you think? Okay. Same thing with the snare. On this A below that C is another snare. And wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my ghost notes and I'm not going to play them quietly. I'm going to do what I did here. I'm going to play them loudly so that they're even, and then I'm gonna lower the velocity. So let's see what I do. And for the first half, I'll do kind of what I want. In the second half, I'll start to get a little crazier just to show you it doesn't matter so much what you do here. Okay. Now let's quantize these. Everything's about quantizing. Okay, now I'm gonna take all of these. See, I did play them a little quieter here. So I'm actually gonna raise the velocity of these just a little bit so that they're all a little around the same. And now I'm gonna lower all of them.
I actually would like them to be even lower, but this is okay for now. I can live with that. Now I want to do something else with the hi-hats. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to show you something else. Okay, up up here, like an octave above all this, there's another hi-hat that's somewhat open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to play this on the eighth notes and this tighter one, I'm going to play it on the upbeat uh, 16th notes. Okay, and I'm going to play an even 16th note pattern. Not, not my best work, but whatever. Okay, let's quantize these again to the 16th. So what it, what it kind of is doing is it's almost like it, these are accented and these are less accented, but we can make them even less accented with the velocity again. Yeah, that's pretty funky to me. Okay, and now I want to do one little, last little drum programming trick. I'm going to get rid of this fourth measure, and I'm going to just play a, um, a simple snare kick, snare kick, snare kick, snare. But I'm going to hold down both of my snares and the kick. So, and you'll see why in a second. Okay, these almost don't need to be quantized, but we'll just do it anyway. What I want to do is I'm going to take this set of snares. I'm going to lower the velocity kind of quite a bit. I'm going to grab them on in Logic. You hold down Control and you can slide them in to a much uh, short, smaller degree, not to the grid. Probably even a little more than that. I also want to open this up so that it's there. So the idea is I want to get a flam here. So let's see if I gave it enough room. Yeah, get rid of that one. Maybe put a... So all together, it's like this. Okay, I don't know, that's pretty funky, pretty quick. Sounds somewhat real, right? It doesn't sound like it's programmed right out of a drum machine. If you have any uh, other tips on how to make drums more funky, more real sounding, leave them in the comments and that's it for now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.